NutriCoach is an online platform that helps dietitians, nutritionists, and nutrition coaches simplify their work and empowers them to connect and coach clients around the world. NutriCoach is a DOST Pichard 2021 Startup Fund Program grantee. Ian Yapuanco is the CEO and co-founder at NutriCoach. Fia Batua Mambuay is the CPO and co-founder at NutriCoach. So hello Ian, hello Fia. We're very happy to have you to have NutriCoach in Startup Podcast. Thank you. We're so happy to be here as well. Thanks for inviting us. Hi. Thank you so much. Ha. Of course. So let's start with ano ang NutriCoach. Sige. So NutriCoach is an ecosystem of mobile and web applications that help nutrition professionals simplify their work and connect with more clients. So basically, our goal is to do two things. Um, one is to make it as easy and as simple as possible for coaches to do their work so they can focus on what they love to do, which is to help people get healthier. And two is to help everyday people easily find and connect with trusted nutrition professionals. Yeah, I like yung sinabi mo ng ecosystem. Hindi lang siya basta app, hindi lang siya basta technology. It's an ecosystem and maybe community. So, so let's yeah. start muna dun sa may concept ni NutriCoach, yung main na ginagawa nito, yung nutrition. <laughs> I just want to know, ano nga ba talaga ang nutrition and maybe why do why should people know about nutrition? Uh-huh. Sigaw ako sasagot niyan kasi I'm, I'm the nutritionist in the group. So nutrition is simply how we nourish our body. So we all know that we use food as energy to support life, to repair, and for growth. It is a very important part of our health, especially para dun sa mga growing and developing individuals. So ito yung mga bata, mga teenager. So as a nutritionist dietitian, please also understand that there is no bad or good food. We don't want to label food as such. Kasi in nutrition, dapat hindi tayo judgmental. <laughs> Kasi some may work for you, para sa iba hindi. So ako, personally, I don't judge my patients or my clients. Kahit na madami kami naririnig. Ang medyo alarming lang talaga for us, nutrition professionals, is yung mga naglalabas ng fad diets. I think, uh, familiar ka dito. Though hindi siya bad, uh, ang problema lang kasi, hindi rin ito proven safe and effective long term. So, i-consider dapat both. Nutrition plays... Uh, also a vital role when it comes to lowering um, the risk of non-communicable diseases like diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, which are two major problems we Filipinos are facing right now. So, tumataas talaga yung mga bilang ng mga ganitong sakit. So, andyan din yung pagdami ng pagkakaroon ng renal or kidney diseases. So, based on, uh, on statistics, over 20 million Filipinos actually suffer from one or more chronic illnesses. And the numbers are always going up. So, lahat tayo dapat responsible on knowing and understanding nutrition. Yeah, yeah that's really interesting. And especially yung what you said, na nutrition, there's no good and bad food. So, maybe it's kind of like personalized. Kung baka depende sa tao din yung best diet, best food for him or her. And I think dun po pasok yung nutrition coaches. I think... Uh, yun ang ginagawa ni NutriCoach. Kaya nga siya NutriCoach. Maybe Nutrition Coach. So, I want to ask, um, sino ba itong mga nutrition coaches na to Itong mga dietitians, itong mga nutritionists. I mean, who are them? What they do really? And uh, how is NutriCoach trying to help them? Well, a nutrition coach or professional is someone who helps and guides uh, other people to achieve their health, medical, or fitness, or weight goals through proper diet, nutrition, and lifestyle changes. So, ma- majority of these clients fall under three types. So, first uh, type of client is people with medical conditions and chronic illnesses such as diabetes, renal disease, obesity, and heart problems. The second set of people or clients are those who are trying to manage their weight to either lose or gain weight. And also those people that are into fitness or sports, so be able to provide fuel to the to the body and to achieve optimal performance so in general there are two types of nutrition professionals the dietitians and nutritionists so magkaiba yan dietitians are nutrition professionals that are registered and are licensed pumasa sila or pumasa kami sa licensure exam only dietitians are actually allowed to create individualized meal plans especially for patients 
with medical cases like obesity, renal renal problem or diseases, and diabetes. On the other hand, nutritionists or nutrition coaches in general on the uh, are non-registered, but they have they were able to take nutrition course and are trained to provide general nutrition recommendation and guidance, such as eat variety of vegetables and fruits, eat whole foods, consume good carbs and not no carbs at all, consume healthy fats and limit saturated fat, and madami pang iba. So, they handle more standardized uh, guidelines made for the general public. So, ganun dapat ang siyang nutritionist. Mm. Promoting nutrition, uh, nutritious, safe, and even affordable food. Pero see, kapag, yeah, pagdating sa meal plan, it's the diet difference. Ah, uh, I see. That's interesting, ah. That's very enlightening, ah. <laughs> so, yung dietitian and diet coaches, more of yung mga personalized and more of yung pag, pag-design ng food nga na optimal for nutrition. And yung uh, nutrition is more of parang public health siya, eh. Tama ba? Mm-hmm. And uh, promoting uh, general guidelines. Mm, I see, I see. That's really, that's, it's only here na natutunan ko siya. Okay. So let's go naman dun kay NutriCoach. Sa technology ni NutriCoach, sa app nito. So I want to ask, ano nga ba yung problem nitong mga dietitians, nutritionists, and nutrition coaches na to? And how is NutriCoach nga trying to help them? Sige. Uh, I'll go ahead and answer that. So there are a lot of problems talaga. But um, it boils down to four things actually. So, yung four things yun is, one, um, at an average kasi, nutrition professionals use around 8 to 12 different apps to run their practices and businesses. So, with that, it makes the whole process slow, confusing, and inefficient. Yung second naman is, a lot of their processes are still manual. So, poor Excel, Google Sheets, Google Docs. So, it, it, it can take hours for them to finish certain tasks. For just one client. And because of that, means it takes them days to, to submit a plan to a client. So, ganun katagal. And you third the month is it's really difficult for them to track the progress of their client and to actually know kapag sinusundan mo talaga yung program. <laughs> Mamiya nagdadaya na sila. Ayun, that happens. And lastly naman, um, it's also not easy for them to find clients actually. So, kasi currently, the primary way for them to find their clients is through word of mouth referrals, saka social media activities, pag-post sa Facebook. Eh, problema kasi dyan is if hindi naman sila magaling sa marketing, hindi naman sila tech savvy, hindi rin naman ganun ka-effective yung pag-post sa Facebook. Yan yung nagiging problem. So, yun yun. Yes. So, in what I see, so parang uh, in what I understand, so automation digitalization and yung connection nga nung ecosystem nung community. Yeah, yeah so based on that, so uh, yung app niyo na ila-launch niyo na in 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 a while. So paano niyo naman dinesign yung app niyo to 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 answer these problems and sino nga ba yung users, yung target users ng NutriCoach app on the side of the in yung coaches, dietitians, nutritionists and on the side of the client mismo, of the user mismo. Okay, sige. So, nangyari yun is there are two sides. There's the coaches and the clients. So, it starts with the clients first. So, yung clients, uh, syempre, kung may chronic illness or may problema, they'll need to look for a coach. So, yung goal talaga namin is to create a marketplace for them to be able to search, compare, and then book a coach right away. Whether for online consultation or whether for face-to-face consultations. And then once mag-connect na sila, ayun, dun, dun na gumagana yung magic ng NutriCoach for the web, uh, for the coaches, yun, yung web app. So with that, uh, it allows them to, um, sorry, it allows them to automate a lot of their processes. Like yung mga manual, mga pag meal plan, and then paggagawa ng mga grocery lists. Hmm. Kasi for example, yung grocery list, ha, um, imagine kao, gagawa ka ng grocery list pa sa sarili mo for two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, syempre, 14 days yun. Galing. <laughs> Mahaba yun, di ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yun, automatic na yun. Usually, hours yun eh. Ito, automatic. One click, gawa na siya. Yun. So, it, it, and that's just one task. And there are a lot of tasks that we automate. Yun. So, that's that's how we fix it. Uh, yeah, so, so NutriCoach no, is a marketplace pala. No? So, uh, the users can easily f- uh, f- uh, find those nutritionists, uh, dietitians, 
Meron ba tong parang matching? I'm just curious. Meron ba siyang parang matching? Like, it's easier to, like, if I'm an athlete or if I'm someone na may sakit, I can know sino ba yung bagay sa akin, ganyan. May ganun bang principle? For now, wala pa sa plan. Ha? For now, it's still, uh, they need to check yung mga feedback and then yung mga details ng mga yung mga offerings ng mga coaches from the listings. Hmm. Yun pala. And then may rating system. That's for now. But syempre, it could change. Diba? Depending on that. Yeah, and I'm also curious lang about sa user base, possible user base ng, ng Nutri Coach app. So, ano ba yung range ng users? Like, gano'n ba kalabak yun na i-imagine yun na gagamit ng app? Okay, um, again, it's it's two-sided. It's not just the market base. For, for the coaches kasi, right now in the Philippines, there, there are a few thousand. Let's say mga five to six thousand. But yung mga people chronic illnesses, alone, that's 20 million. Uh, so we're trying to connect these two, and in the and this is in the Philippines alone. The problem, kasi, is around the world, especially in mga developing countries, there's no system like this. Bute sa US, sa UK, they have a similar system, but anywhere else, wala. So we want to bring this to everyone else who who doesn't have it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's really big. I think it's really big. It's really big, and especially if. Mat- matutunan at kasi I'm, I think, I'm thinking now hindi pa rin ganun ka literate I think I'm not sure ah, yung mga Pilipino rin maybe sa nutrition is, is that am I right? is that, is that right? yeah yeah, 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 yeah possible <laughs> yes oo kasi talagang ang daming lalo nga ngayon ang daming lalabas ang fat diets kung ano lang yung ginagawa ng kaibigan mo pinost na niya ang bilis mong maniwala ngayon <laughs> especially with the social media lang sobrang powerful ng social media ngayon It's one of the problems, actually. Yeah, yeah. Gets, gets, gets. Amazing. Yeah, so maybe two things nga. First is yung nutrition literacy. And yun nga na, hindi ka dapat basta-basta lang gumagaya. Dapat meron talagang naka-design for you uh, bilang mm-hmm. what are your, what's your body composition, what's your, what's the state of your health, of your body. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let's go naman sa, so Nut- Nut- NutriCoach is a DOST Fishered 2021 Startup Fund Program Grantee. So first of all, congratulations for getting this grant. So maybe can you know lang ano ba yung grant na to? And maybe can you share some advice or tips maybe for other startups na gusto rin makakuha ng grant na to in the future? So maybe uh, how do you think did you get this grant? Uh, sige, I'll go ahead and answer that. Um, all right. So just to give you a brief background, the grant is uh, by under DOST Fishered. So it's basically for startups uh, for that's one to five years old. Lang. Mm. They'll give you up to five million. You can defend why. And then every batch, kasi, uh, every batch, iba iba yung priority sector. So you really need to make sure that you're under the priority sector. And then that's this is just one grant of the DFS. Marams lang grants. So if you want to check out more, just go to their site or their Facebook page. Um, with regards, naman to why we got it. Okay, disclaimer lang. Um, what I'm about to say is what I think. Ah, what I think helped us get the grant. Pero recommendation ko is always talk to the people from DFS. Di para sigurado. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so moving forward, um, what I believe. The main reason why we got the grant was one, our startup falls right under their priority sector, which is um, productivity tools for uh, home productivity tools for mga yeah for the industry. Two is there aren't any similar solutions like ours in the specific niche that we're in. So right now, kami lang. Three. Uh, and the last one is we prove to them that we are actually capable enough to actually meet the targets in our agreed objectives. So you check check nala. They they want to know if you can do it. Your uh, team, no, your team, right? Mm, the team. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. And given nga yung grant, so uh, maybe just give us some ano lang, some glimpse in the future. Paano yung gagamitin yung grant? Like ano ba yung how will you develop maybe the app or how will you build Nutri Coach more given this funds maybe? So, so right now kasi we already have a team um, since we've been operating for over a year now. Um, the grant will mostly be used for five things. Yun yung agreement namin with DOST eh. So one is to be able to launch three stable apps. Mm. Second is dapat duman kami sa VAPT certification. 
yung vulnerability in, and yung yung vulnerability testing. The third is kailan may kami at least 300 paying coaches. Mm. And then the next one is kailan makapag usability test kami at least six times for the different um, teachers. Mm. And then the last one is kailan may kami agreement with FNRI to use their database. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, yeah. So right now, focus kami sa pagharap ng mga tao, like mga developers. Of course, of course. Yeah, so I hope some listeners nga of this podcast maybe can can use. Yeah, sana, yeah, let's spread the word out for Nutri Coach. And I mean, mm-hmm. I'm one with you rin naman in the advocacy of nutrition literacy and the productivity tool for the nutrition industry. Yeah. Yeah, so let's go naman sa story kung paano nagsimula si Nutri Coach. I'm very interested about this. Um... More than more than making it a business, I'm interested then. Dun sa parang advocacy or yung parang want nga to to help other people for uh for nutrition. So maybe uh Ian and Fia, so can you share uh, a bit of your background and yeah, ano yung motivation stories why you decided to be a nutrition coach? Okay, so actually it started when I did focus on freelancing and or nutrition private practice. That's along with my other colleagues then. So nakita ko din yung struggle. Tapos I was using this nutrition app before uh, for my clients. So same siya na may mobile app, may web app. But I tried it kasi I badly needed an app or a solution that will help me with my work because it was lacking. But that app was lacking features like meal planning. So wala siyang ganun. So it, 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 it was still hot very hard to use so i'm juggling to multiple tools parent on top of that then i showed it i showed the app to ian a few times because we're working in another um industry okay so food industry so i was part of his team from one of his businesses so i told him that i'm using this app but mostly for food diary lang siya nagagamit yun lang yung feature nung nung ginagamit ko so ang dami ko pang ginagamit may google form pa ako may docs pa ako yung mga ganun. And maybe me- messaging lang din yung nagagamit ko dun sa app na yun. So, Ian got curious and he was interested also. So, sabi ko sa kanya, what if we create one also, a better one? Kasi baka sakali matulungan pa yung tulad ko. It was actually parang hindi ko naman ina-expect na pwede talaga namin gawin ni Ian. Parang joke ko lang siya noon na sinabi ko sa kanya. Then after a while, binalikan ako ni Ian. Siguro dahil naisip niya rin yung mga what if na yun. So, totoo pala yung mga gano'n, yung mga what if natin. <laughs> Tapos, we just go grab it. Then, Ian mentioned to me about Renz, which is our CTO. So, sayang hindi naka-join sa atin si, uh, si Renz. Tapos, naglakas loob lang kami na talagang buoin yung Nutri-Coach. So, it's out of curiosity of what if namin lahat. Then, the rest is history. Doon na nag-start. Then, actually... I think Ian initially he wanted to create a better version, so ganon din na na, na push kami lahat for uh, a better version of the app. But the but the more dietitians we spoke with, the more we realized that the problem was much bigger. So we changed our plan based on that. Yeah. I like na yung motivation no. Ay pinagkasama sama nyo pala yung mga different apps into one. Malang integrated na lahat ng ng features into one para mas madali ngang gamitin. I want to know from Ian naman. So, paano ka exactly na, yun nga, paano, paano, nung, nung sinabi sa iyo ni Fia, yung idea na yun, ano exactly yung like naisip mo or like yung motivation mo nga rin to, to really, to really build the startup out of this app idea? Sige, oh, sige, just, sige, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you yung context, yeah? Kasi, ni- around nine or ten years ago, uh, I, I was a bit heavier. I was around mga 186 to 190 pounds. So, ako, akit lang ng stairs pag na second floor, hinihingal na ako. And then, ako, personally, I tried different diets. Mga diet tricks, mga pakain ka lang ng tuna sandwich, yun lang kapinin mo for one week. Hindi siya successful eh. And then, I was given the opportunity to uh, try calorie counting meals. So, with that, I was able to lose around 30 pounds. Oh. Yun. So, yung problema kasi doon is, yung mga calorie counted meals na try ko, ang papangit talaga. So, I told myself na I can do better. Mm. And then, if 
I do this better, I know this can potentially help so many people. So, uh, yun, nine years ago, I started my own diet delivery meal ser- services. And from there, yun, every week I witness people na giving feedback, mga sending messages na parang, parang thanks so much, nag-lose ako ng 25 pounds, nag-normal yung mga laboratories ko, parang thanks dahil napasexy namin sila, sila para sa wedding nila, nagsisend pa ng mga pictures, yung mga ganun. So, it, it moved me, it moved me. And from there, I'm just, you know, I just really try to look for more solutions, more ways to help more people in, in this in this manner. Uh, yung yung nutri coach so may calorie counting ano din siya feature din siya um hindi yung nutri coach kasi it's more of you're connecting them with um with coaches talaga yeah yeah, yeah. kasi yung problem kasi with, with my best now yung mga diet meals it's pre-made meals eh. hmm. so you just give them meals kakain nila the problem is it doesn't work for everyone nutri coach kasi uh it gives it a more personalized touch yeah okay. kasi different people have different needs eh. Yeah. yeah. So it's like That's why we're building it. Yeah, yung personalized personal app talaga for for your nutrition. Na meron nagaguide sa yon na nutrition coach or dietitian. Yeah, and ang ganda ng sinabi mo, ang ganda ng kwenta mo actually, uh, Ian. So I actually also saw on your LinkedIn kasi I was stalking your profiles of course when doing my research for this episode. So I saw in Ian's LinkedIn, quote and quote, an entrepreneur on a mission to help more people live healthier lives. True food and technology. I really think it's very powerful. So, yun nga, uh, you told a bit of your story. Pero like, um, kailan nagsimula ito at wakas na to uh, aside from that story? And parang ano yung nagpush pa sa iyo further to really do this? Like ano talaga yung push? Ano talaga yung? Um, well, ako kasi I, I okay. I believe that things happen for a reason. I, I'm a firm believer that, and I believe that parang we. We, there's a greater purpose in life for me yeah. so parang if it, it yung blessing ibigay sa akin i think i just need to do the best of what i can do to make it grow ganun daw mag-isip so since binigay sa akin to i i, have, I just have this mission to make it grow uh, and reach more people yeah so maybe it's your parang yun yung nariles ng purpose mo in entrepreneur and nutrition <laughs> yes so oh yeah that's amazing so speaking of that ano naman yung vision ni nutri coach maybe in the next five years or ten years so how do you see nutri coach affecting not just as a product not just as a community but maybe yung lipunan or yung pilipinas as a whole i mean what do you see in the in the next few years and maybe in the farther future As we mentioned, we're trying to make NutriCoach into an ecosystem. So, the goal namin is to make it easy for anyone, anywhere, to get the right nutrition care they need. Para we want to make make it like a grab of nutrition care. So, pas pa lang don kung may klang kang nutrition need. For example, you coaching on a certain or certain illness. Like diabetes, maharap mo siya dun kasi informations. So yun yung goal talaga namin. Yeah, so basically, kung ako, like kung may, kung may sakit ako, diretso punta ako NutriCoach. Or actually, me, actually, I'm a marathon runner. So I'm actually I, I'm actually also looking for this kind of app. Kasi hindi ko nga alam kung ano yung mga kakain ko. Parang <laughs> ang sinasabi lang sa akin, ang nababasa ko, uh, brown rice, I'm not sure actually kung okay nga yun. Maybe if you can tell me what to eat ba or... <laughs> Or, yeah, and carbs for for the training. So, yeah, maybe I also, okay lang, Mike, Pio, can you ask, like, general tips maybe for nutrition-wise and diet-wise, maybe? Um, yeah, ano ba yung mga advice mo? I mean, if it's okay to ask. Yeah. Um, actually, when it comes to sports, uh, napaka-importante nung carbs. Nabanggit mo carbs, yung, yung brown rice, carbs. Eh, actually, ito yung nami-misinterpret ng mga taakala nila. Uh, masama yung carbs. Even mga at mga other athletes because of the yung mga nagalabas ang mga fat diets, niisip nila uh, masyado silang focus sa protein, sa fats. But when it comes to sports, napaka um, pinaka favorite naming macronutrient is carbohydrate. Kasi ito talaga yung fuel sa buong training plan mo, sa buong uh, uh, even the event itself. Ito talaga yung pagkukuha na natin ng energy. Eh. So ano lang, wag lang natin kakalimutan na We need carbohydrates for fuel, especially during training. You have to familiarize your body. Hindi pa yung papalit-palit ka. 
lalo na kapag uh, race day na. At the same time, syempre, enough protein, hindi naman sobra, but enough para for repair. At the same time, also, on uh, enough dietary fats or good fats para naman, ano, merong come back up uh, source of energy. But again, when it comes to sports, ang favorite ng katawan mo is carbohydrates. Yeah, how about ano naman, for for yung mga may chronic illness, I mean, kung okay lang ah, uh, and maybe for the general public, like ano yung maybe advice mo or tips mo for them, diet-wise and nutrition-wise? Well, again, pag may mga medical ailments naman, huwag tayong basta-basta magtatry ng mga diet na, kunwari, diabetes, um, ini- akala nila carbohydrates yung kalaban talaga. But hindi yun eh, madaming factors bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng diabetes or Uh, at risk tayo for diabetes, baka mamaya masyado tayong se- uh, masyadong sedentary na yung lifestyle natin, yung physical activity natin, or tumataas din yung accumulated body fat natin. So, may, may meron tong effect para magkaroon din tayo ng diabetes. So, hindi lang si carbs talaga. Actually, our patients, uh, di- uh, people with diabetes, we treat them with carbs, with complex carbs. And important rin yung 3 to 4 hours of eating. So, doon mo makikita, napaka-importante na iintindihan natin yung nutrition at dapat talaga uh, kumonsulta tayo sa eksperto. Hindi tayo yung basta lang naniniwala sa mga sabi-sabi o mga nababasa natin. Mas maganda po at mas mainam, hahanapin natin dietitian, nutritionist dietitian. Iba po ang isang nutritionist or nutrition coach or coach. Dapat po uh, ang kausap talaga natin dietitian. Okay, so if I may ask this last question, <laughs> ano lang, uh, tingin nyo ba maganda na mayroon tayo nutrition education? Like maybe ka, uh, subjects sa, uh, I'm not, high school or college? or And also, Nutri Coach, do you also like plan to do this education about nutrition? I just want to ask. Doon sa part na ano, um, education for nutrition for the general public, actually, since kinder, tinuturo na sa, na sa atin yung go, go and glow. <laughs> so, I think it's very basic. Pero yung I think yan um, regarding sa education ng purposes ng nutri coach uh, parang wala wala na wala pa siya sa plan but maybe we can consider tama ba yan Definitely yeah so kami kasi um yung when we develop features or when we do anything we're really customer centric so we really go out and ask them what they need what they want so syempre if this is something that they really need we're gonna Go for it, diba? Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Like be able to help people around. He definitely will. Yeah. Amazing. Ako, ako personally, maybe I want that as an athlete. Ano nga ba talaga yung... May tips? May, parang may... Maybe sa app yeah. or may daily tips ganyan or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I'm sure you can you can formulate better strategies for that. Yeah. So, thank you. Uh, so, this is a very interesting and enlightening conversation. Ang dami ko natutunan about nutrition. Especially yung pinagkaiba ng... Nutrition coach and ng dietitian. So Ian, Fia. So let's just take this time. If listeners want to know more about Nutri Coach, maybe they want to use the app in the future, uh, and maybe some uh, some promotions you want to to say out to the public. So how can how can people find you and yeah, take this time to 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 share some some words. Okay, thank you again Hef, for having us. So for those who want to learn more about what we do or anyone interested to join the team. You can visit us at www.nutricoach.com or message us at facebook.com slash nutricoach.inc. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. If, in, in, in case anyone knows any nutritionists uh-huh. who they feel that Nutricoach can help them, please give us a call or message us through Facebook and lead them to us. Of course. So I hope you makita na yung ecosystem, yung community. I also believe actually in your advocacy, Ian and Fia. Na I really hope na then na more Filipinos uh, take more care about their health and know more about nutrition. So yeah, thank you very much for this episode with Nutri with Nutri Coach at Startup Podcast. So thank you, Fia. Thank you, Ian. Thank you so thank you very much. much. And congratulations. Thank you very much to our four patrons. This episode is powered by ePlayment. Support us in Patreon at www.patreon.com/startuppodcastph.